with organizing, ways that you'll love getting organized. Brenda Prince of Bali is here to show us how Valentine's Day symbols can help inspire and set the mood, set the, setting the mood to organize, you know, because it is, that's, you know, you got to kind of like get yourself going. Exactly. You know? And, you know, this is not just for today. We don't no. want to necessarily tell people to organize tonight. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's real plan. romantic. <laughs> <laughs> but just to kind of inspire that so maybe the rest of the month or any other time you kind of need that thought to spark that organizing. So, you know, the very first thing is when we think about Cupid yeah. and what is Cupid's role and what is the goal? And that is that he shoots an arrow and the first person that that person then sees, they are 100% focused on that person. Mm -hmm. So he's really, really awesome at helping people focus when they need to. And you know, we are bombarded with 60,000 thoughts a day, our phones are dinging, yep. our emails are dinging. So we have a lot of internal and external distractions and we really need to really reduce those so that you can be more productive, you can get more done, you can have less stress. So think about Cupid to help you get over that hump. Okay, and the next thing is using different symbols to communicate. Yeah, you know, uh, Valentine's, one of the most common ones we do, not that we don't use it other times <laughs> as well, but is the XOXOXOXO. And, you know, that is a symbol that gives a message and yep. it, it tells a story. So when you think about doing some labeling of your organizing around your house and thinking about maybe using emojis, using symbols, especially if you have kids of younger ages that might not be able to see that, that word on a bin what that word is and know what it is but if you put a picture or something that's like, going to make it a lot this more is where helpful. the toys go yeah exactly. this is where my friends go yay yeah. <laughs> so it makes it just a little bit easier for everybody in the family and it's just a little bit more oh my fun. gosh get your kids to think it's a game and then they'll help you clean their thing <laughs> you, know, you gotta trick them you yeah, know yeah, that's always a good thing and then you said sparkling gifts well you know i always think with organizing there's something that i call the sparkle factor yeah and that is that you're attracted to it so for all of the supplies that you have, why not make them sparkly? Why not make them luxurious? Why not make them very classy? It will entice you to be more involved with them, and then, hence, of course, you're going to be more organized. You'd be very proud. I just moved to a new house, you know, summer, and I have a whole, like, um, organized area, like my, like, gift closet. It's all organized. The candles are there. Everything's color-coordinated. I mean... We'll see if it lasts, but so far so yeah, good, you yeah. know what I'm saying? When, oh, when it sparkles and it looks nice, it's easier to keep it that way. It does. So. It makes you want to, you know, just yep. go into it. If it's a scary like closet or a scary office, you're like, ee, ee, ee. no, I don't want to do it at all. <laughs> right. So keep it pretty, right? Yes, exactly. And happy exactly. Valentine's Day yep. to you. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, Monica, over to you.